myself into Out of the red, out of my head she sang Hello, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I am playing Everlong, the acoustic version by the Foo Fighters. Now, I've included a link in YouTube cards right now. You can get to that by clicking at the top uh, to listen to the version that I've based this video lesson on. It's very stripped down. It's just Dave Grohl and the acoustic guitar. And I think that makes it a lot easier when you get fast enough to be able to play along with this song because it's just him and the guitar. So you can hear the audio. I'm gonna teach you all the parts that he does, break it down um, nice and slowly, show you the accent, show you the chords, show you the changes and keep the rhythm as exact as I can to what he's doing. It's pretty much spot on. Um, so obviously I've known this song for a very long time. Um, it's such a classic, it's, it's a real great tune. Uh, what you do have with this as well is there is free tab over at the Learn Guitar in London website. I've tabbed this out for you as well. Um, you just need to join the student area to get hold of it. It just takes a name and email address. You can do that at any time by clicking this new link in the video right now, or I've also included a link in the video description. Without further ado, let's drop our tuning. Only takes one string, I'll show you how to do it and learn this great song. Right, I'll say it one more time. Um, to be able to play along the full performance of this, then use the uh, link that I've put in the video description or in the video at the moment. That's of Dave Grohl, just him and the guitar. That's exactly what we're gonna be learning today. So you can piece together the full structure of the song. Um, and the other thing is, is the tab is available at my website to learn all the component parts of this. Okay, cool. So we need to, to get it sounding like the tune, we need to change the tuning of our thickest string. And what we need to do is we need to loosen that string. Okay, and we need to loosen it to the note of D. Now at the moment it is tuned to the note of E. So we need to go down the alphabet because D is before E. So that means we're loosening it. Now, what you're gonna to do to check this is there's two things. You could use your electronic tuner and you could loosen it until your electronic tuner says D and the needle is green and in the middle, okay? The other thing you can do is you can do it by ear. Now I suggest you have a go at this if you've never done it before. In fact, even if you've, if you've had a go and you, you failed, this is kind of an easy-ish starter, I suppose, if you've got good lower hearing. So we're gonna play the D string on the guitar and then the thicker string. And we're gonna start loosening that string until they start to sound the same. At the moment, they sound horrible. Still sound horrible, right? Sound a little better now, right? And now they sound the same. So what we're doing is we're looking for them to sound the same, in unison together, to have the same vibration in a way, if we're gonna get really sort of um, esoteric about it. Okay, so there we go. So we've dropped down to um, drop D tuning, which is necessary. So let's have a look at this. Let's break that first part down. There's basically three parts in this song uh, that Dave Grohl uses in that video. And I'm going to be showing you each part. So the first part, I'll do it slowly. Here we go. So that's the first line in the tab that I want to show you. So we're making a power chord. We're on the ninth fret with the index finger and the eleventh fret with the ring finger. Um, we're on the A string on the ninth fret, and we're on the uh, D string on the 11th fret. And what I want you to do with that chord is I want you to strum the top three strings. 
Okay, so that is our chord that we'll be using for this bit at the beginning. Now, this is the part where the technique comes in. So, choose your camera. I'm not quite sure which is going to be the best camera angle for this. Probably main camera, camera A here. So, this part of this fleshy horseshoe part of our palm, let me just show that to you, right here, needs to rest. And when I say rest, I do not mean pressed, but just rest gently on the bridge, at the back of the bridge here, okay? So take your palm and put it so that it's very close. You see where my index finger is now? And just lay it so that it's sitting just about here, okay? And what you should get if you're doing it correctly, there you go, it's better on camera B there. So, is you should get this palm muted sound. That's called palm muting. And that's what we're looking for. Now, most people get palm muting wrong by bringing their hand too far. So it sounds like that. So bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Further back than you would normally if you were playing guitar. Okay, palm muting is a special technique which requires a different hand action. So we must palm mute the thickest string and the A and the D string to a certain extent. It doesn't really matter how much at the moment, okay? But just get them palm muted. So we go open, open on the thickest string, but palm muted, not, sounds very different, doesn't it, sir? Okay. So what I'm doing there is I'm going open, open, then I'm strumming the nine and 11 with a little mini strum down the, those two strings. Then I'm going to a thicker string, then I'm going to do two more 9-11s, then an open thicker string, then 9-11. So, got that? Okay, next bar. So this time, a little different, two opens, strum 9-11, another open, then three 9-11s. And then finally, lift up the index finger and strum completely open strings. So let go with your palm, top two strings. And um, Dave Grohl just does that as he changes chord, I think. Well, actually, no, I think it's deliberate. It sounds really nice, actually, so it's, it's, uh, it's probably deliberate. So let's put all that together. We'll do it slowly. Do that a bit faster. Okay, good so far. Next, bring this index, leave the ring finger where it is on the 11, bring the index so it's pressing down the thickest string and the A string at the same time, so the E and A. So we're doing a little mini bar. Okay, so they're all the same, same notes. And we're gonna do the same idea with palm hitting a single string and the strums of the 911. So this time we're going to go 99911 strum. But it's the same rhythm. Then the next bar. Then to the opens again. Okay, so let's do that again. Now let's put together the first four bars of the song with the change from this to the flattened finger, pressing down these two. Okay, here we go, three and four and. Okay, so hopefully you've got that. Um, do that round in a circle a few times, then this shape that we've just come from, this chord shape, so that's 9, 9, and 11, I want you to move that down to the fifth fret. So you're on 5, 5, and 7 on the D string. And I'd like you to go, so I'm going to call these the bass notes from now on, the thickest strings, and these the strums. So we go bass, bass, strum, bass, 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 strum, bass. Okay, let's do that again. And then move up to 9. So keep this same shape together, move it back to where we started. Not where we started because it's the actual bar finger, but the second chord, I suppose you could call it. And that's the same rhythm as what we just did for the five, 
for the five seven. So here's the five sevens again. So here we go, bass, bass, strum, bass, 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 strum, slide it up, bass, strum, bass, 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 strum, bass. Okay, then we do another bar there, doing the same thing. Bass, bass, strum, bass, 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 strum, bass. So from the fives, slightly faster, three and four and... And then it goes round in a circle, back to the beginning, okay? So I'm now gonna do that for you from the beginning round in a circle. Get ready to play with me. After and a four, three and four and. Round in a circle. What's wrong with them? I've got it back. Okay, so we do that in total to the recording uh, times nine times. So I think it's twice without singing and then a further, I think it's like three times with singing, once without, three with, I think, I think that might make 10. Um, but anyway, I've definitely worked out that it's nine there. And then it goes into, so when you come from this 9-11 at the end. So let me show you what I'm doing there. Index finger on the fourth fret on the A string, strumming the E and the A string. We're strumming the two strings together and we're gonna go four, 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 three times. Then up to the fifth fret and do that three times. Then up to the seventh fret, do that three times. 9th fret three times, 10th fret twice, 9th fret once, and then to this, we're going to bar the 7th fret on the E, A and D string, well you can make this chord if you prefer, you can use like these three fingers, but a bar is much better really, more economical, and strumming just the top three strings, let's do that slowly, so, 4s, 5s, 7s, 9s, 10, 9, 7. Okay, a little faster. Now on that 7, I'm doing an up strum when I get to it. And the reason is, is because it's at the end of the, of the bar, so that means it's an and, so we're going up. And we're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up when we get to it, which is 9 hits in total. So we're going to go and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And I'm muting the bottom three strings deliberately with this finger. You don't have to do that, but it makes it sound a lot better. But those three strings should be ringing. So I'll do it from the fours, and then we do that round in a circle. Okay, so here we go. Fours, fives, sevens, oops, nines, tens. Repeat. Do it one more time for you. Okay, good. So we do that twice. Next, we've got the chorus. So I'm going to join in from, I call that the instrumental bridge, that part, as you'll see from the tab notes there. So we're going to join the instrumental bridge into the chorus. So it goes. So this time we're going to go up. So we can do it the same as normal, and when we get to tens, we're going to go, uh, sorry, fours, fives, sevens, and just up to, and then to nine. So four, five, and seven, I'll do it slowly. Three fours, three fives, three sevens, and then up on your nine, then miss. So I'm now doing a nine bar on this finger. Up, miss, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, miss, up. So, with the rhythm, I'll do it slowly. Now, we're going to the bar nines on the E, A, and D. Up, miss, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up on bar fives, up, miss, up, down, up, down. Then a D power chord, A string on the fifth fret, 
and seventh fret on the D and G string with the ring and pinky is best. So here and here, you can't quite see that in the video, but here and here. And we're gonna go up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then another bar of that. So let's do it from when we actually go to the nine. So. middle fingers doing here with this chord is just resting on the that string to make sure I'm not playing it. We're gonna repeat that. Up this, up, down, up, down, up, down, up this, up, down, up, down, up, down, up this, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up this, up, down, up, down, this, up, down, up, down, up, down, this, up, down, up, down, up. So that's pretty clear. Uh, what's going on in the song there? So that's where Dave's singing that. Now, when he gets to that lyric, the only thing I ever ask of you, our order of chords is a little bit different. We go as normal, fives. Uh, and then we go to we go to the D actually the same as normal so this D power chord and then instead of going doing two of D where we normally go instead we go D then to seven sparring up up down up down up down then to fives then another bar of fives. So I'll do that again. Um, she said. Okay, so I'm going to play that whole chorus because I get the feeling maybe I've gone over it a little quickly. So I'm, I'm going to do the whole chorus from when we start strumming, um, from going from the bridge into the nines and um, follow along, please. Uh, we're going to start after and a four, three and four and. If you follow along with, um, that's all the parts you're going to need for the song. I uh, really hope that's been useful. There's just one other bit that I want to show you. Um, so there is one part where he goes. He basically does this bit round in a circle. And I wonder. The only thing that's different there is we go 10, 10, 9, 9. We do two nines at the end of the riff. Okay. and so forth okay thanks so much for watching this lesson really hope you've enjoyed it if you like my t-shirt i really like this t-shirt i think it's awesome um then visit giddytees.co.uk i've left a link in the video description also if you still haven't got the tab then go to the student area of the learn guitar in london website uh, to join it's completely free just click the link in the video description or the link in the video uh, then you'll be um just need to fill in your name and email address then you'll be sent an email uh, a password to get to the student area and then you'll see everlong in the e part of the tab there so you can play along to this recording it's been great having you with me today i upload two new lessons every week to my youtube channel so if you like acoustic guitar playing and you're learning and you want patient understanding tuition then give me a subscribe it'd be great to have you for some more lessons keep on playing have a great day mm -hmm.